Auburn, Opelika, Lee County area. We shop here, worship here, and cheer on the home teams. It's a true honor to serve you and your family. Compassionate, caring, and professional service. That's the cornerstone of earning your trust. Let our longtime hometown staff help you when you need us. We're Jeff Coat Tramp Funeral Home and Crematory. Our family serving yours. Rely on Jeff Coat Tramp. Bending, stretching, walking. The simple moves in life are a real challenge with joint pain. When that happens, the Orthopedic Clinic is here to help. The Orthopedic Clinic offers a comprehensive range of restoring services, from total and partial joint replacement to bone health programs, physical therapy, and sports medicine. With offices conveniently located in Auburn and Opelika, the Orthopedic Clinic is close to home and here to help you stay in motion. Visit theorthoclinic.com to schedule your appointment today. The Kicker. Back here at Crampton Bowl, Opelika's kick goes into the end zone for a touchback as we have uh, kicked it off about uh, four minutes early here at uh, Crampton Bowl. We're underway now as Park Crossing will start. It'll be first and 10 from their own 20 as they get the touchback. A little miscommunication in the backfield. Terry Ware, the quarterback, will keep it. He's going to lose about three yards back to the 17-yard uh, line. So loses three yards on the play. Now Terry Ware comes in the game 5'7", 140-pound junior. He's a wide receiver that's had to move over to quarterback because Chase Ford, their starter all season, got injured. Backup quarterback apparently has left the team. So, Park Crossing is in a pickle here at quarterback with a, uh, a pretty fresh uh, wide receiver here to run the show at quarterback. Good job by Monte Hutchison. Brenton Williams causing pressure on that last one. Lost two yards. From the 17, where out of the shotgun, he will give it to the tailback, swallowed up in the backfield. A good stop there by the Bulldogs, number 92, Monte Hutchinson. That's going to be a loss of one back to the 16. It's going to be third down and 14 coming up for the Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds got, I mean, <laughs> the dogs got Jake Smith, Mikhail Hurd, Monte Hutchinson, Britton Williams up front, Taylor Love and Tay Gay at the linebackers, Jaden Stinson and Jarrell Stinson at the corners, Brian Torbert, strong safety, Jamal. On Satterwhite, a weak safety, Nick Covington uh, at free safety. All right, Terry Ware, not probably the passer. So it's going to be a tough down here for Park Crossing here early. Third down and 14. They, they moved. No, they didn't call it. Two wides here to the near side and a single receiver to the left side of the field. Hard count. We're looking for the snap. Play clock's down to zero, and they snapped it, but uh, there is no flag thrown, I believe. They might have called timeout. I think they're going to give L.C. Cole a timeout. No, they're going to give them the delay of game. So I did not see a flag, but they, they called the delay of game against Park Crossing, so that's going to back them up five more. And really a, down to the 11-yard line. Good start for Opelika right here. Really good start. And when you're playing a team like this, Coach, that struggled this season, you don't want to give them any hope. No, you don't no. want to give them any indication they can actually play in this ball game. No, so None at all. Negative plays. But I tell you one thing, they're big up front. 375 at center, 290 at left guard, 340 at right guard, 275 right tackle, and uh, 225 over in the left tackle spot. Third and 19, it will be a play-action quarterback keeper as Ware tries to bounce it outside. He's pushed out near the 15, around the 14-yard line, so that will be a pickup of three. And Park Crossing will send out the punting team here as uh, clock runs under 10.08 to go here first quarter. Good job by our defense. Get the ball back here. Jarrell Stinson back to return this punt. Well, number 86 is the punter. We do not have him on the roster. He stands at the goal line to punt it away. I have not seen the center snap tonight. I didn't I, I didn't catch it, but you can bet they're going to come after this one if uh, if this center's bad. All right, Stinson stands at the 50-yard line. Opelika should have pretty good field position. Low snap, and the punt is a knuckleballer. Stinson will catch it on a bounce at the 47 and slip the tackle across the 40. Stinson's inside the 30 and pushing the pile down close to the 20-yard line. Nice return. Good return there by Stinson. That's about a 21-yard uh, return after the grab there for Stinson, and the Bulldogs are set up at the park crossing 20-yard line, first and 10. That's a great start right there. Very good job by Opelika. Grady Bynum and Sean Jones are wide out. 
outs. Karius Clark will share right. Jalen Thomas at center tonight. Kondraven Baker at right guard. Q Johnson at tackle. Roman Gagliano, your quarterback. Tony Powell, your S-back. Javante Connor, your wide receiver. And Caden Cooper, your running back. Last week, Gagliano, 19 for 26, 187 yards, two touchdowns. Did have one interception. Trips to the left side. Gagliano throws a fade pass to the Got corner it. of the end zone. It is touchdown. caught for a touchdown. And a haul in that one in for the <laughs> Bulldogs. That is number 23. That is Caden Cooper out of the backfield for the touchdown. Hey, hey, that a boy. Good job, Roman. Not nice, nice job, Caden. One That's play, 20-yard touchdown <laughs> throw to the back. Caden Cooper in the corner of the end zone. And uh, Cooper had a nice step there on that defender to get pretty open in the corner. Shoot, yeah. That is a great way to start the game. Talk about taking them out of the game early. Super job by Roman and a super catch by Caden. And the extra point up and good. So the Bulldogs up early 7-0. A 20-yard touchdown pass on play number one for the Bulldogs. It is Gagliano to Caden Cooper. Dogs lead at 7-0 with 9.04 left here in the first quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on the kicker. <laughs> Opelika Bulldog football fans, Pastor Jeff of First Baptist Church of Opelika. While you're listening to the game this Friday night on the radio, I'm in the stands watching number 25 and all his friends giving everything they've got for Opelika High School. But I would encourage you this Sunday, I want to see you in the stands at First Baptist Church of Opelika. We have three worship hours, 830, 945, and 11 o'clock. We would love to see you this Sunday, First Baptist Church of Opelika. Until then, go dogs. We're back here at the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth here at Crampton Bowl. Dogs on top, 7 nothing over Park Cross and 9.04 left here in this first quarter of play. 20-yard touchdown throw from Roman Gagliano to Caden Cooper for the first of, we hope, many touchdowns here tonight at Crampton Bowl. Charles Gagliano now, the brother Roman, ready to punt there, kick this one away. End over end kick. Towards the right sidelines, inside the 10, around the 8. It is returnable across the 15, 20, and a pretty good return up around the 28-yard line for Park Crossing. On the return was Brandon Wilson. So Park Crossing will start. And it looks like they got it marked at the 28-yard line, first and 10 for the Thunderbirds. Opelak has got six seniors and five juniors starting on defense tonight. We did a good job on that first drive. Let's keep it up. Clear Sky 72, your game conditions brought to you by Alsobrook Law Group. Zach Alsobrook, he's an Opelika High School grad for all your legal needs. Also law.com and uh, had some rain here in Montgomery. Really heavy rain earlier today, but it has cleared out. Looks like uh, not much chance of rain and it's pretty good forecast for Mac McCracken on the sidelines. There's a run play to the right side. Nowhere to go for the tailback, Lee Beebe Jr. And he has wrapped up back at the 26. That's going to be a loss of two. Well, I tell you what, we're really playing good run defense right here, Van. So far, they have got three minus yard plays and one positive play. Minus three yards rushing. 8-23 running here in the first quarter. 7-0 dogs on top. Park crossing a second down and 12 play. And the snap's going to be an option play again. Here is Ware rolling the right side, left side rather. And he had a pretty good hole there. Yeah. He was forced out of bounds around the 31-yard line. He picks up about four yards. And that will set up a third and seven for the Thunderbirds from the 31-yard line. Yeah, we made a uh, – Nick Coveney went over there and made a great tackle, uh, angle tackle over there on the sidelines or he would have – he would have – gotten some more yards on that play. All right, here's your first, here's your second, third down conversion, Van. They were 0 for 1. They're 0 for 1 going into this one. 
Ware out of the shotgun. Again, option play. Ware keeps it, and the ball popped out. It's picked up by the dogs at the 40-yard line. A chance on a return, but cut down at the 37-yard line. Coming up with that was Nick Covington for the Bulldogs. A big turnover as Terry Ware was popped. The ball came out, and it was scooped up by the dogs around the 37-yard line. Great job right there. Great job by Nick Covington. Got that turnover 0 for 2 on third down conversions, and Opelika gets a football at the 37-yard line. So the dogs will have it from the 37, already leading here early, 7 to nothing. Look for Butler. Look for uh, uh, Roman Gaglian or maybe try something else big right here. 7-13 left in the first quarter. And a Gagliano out of the shotgun. And it will be a handoff left side. Caden Cooper inside the 35 down to the 34-yard line for a three-yard pickup on the ground. Yep, that's three. Need to try to get four or five. What's the second play from scrimmage for the Bulldogs? The first one was a 20-yard touchdown throw from Gagliano to Cooper for the early score for the Dogs. Opelika with a 7-0 lead, 6.47 remaining here in the first quarter. Here's a second down and seven for the Bulldogs. Jamori Thomas checks in. He gets the ball, and he carries it inside the 30, down to the 29. Well, they'll mark him down right at the 30, so he's going to be about three yards shy of the first down. It will set up a third and three for the Dogs, and Gagliano and company quickly back to work here on this third and three. Shot Gun snap, throws out in the flat. Sean Jones has it down the sidelines, and he is pushed out of I bounds. I think he got it. I think around he got the 27-yard line, right at that first down marker, and it's enough for the first down. A Lambert transfer and storage, little, first down. Little stand screen right there. Good job. Two of two, Gagliano throwing the ball. Dogs wanting to go fast as the ball is spotted down at the 27-yard line. Gagliano out of the shotgun, 5.55 left here in the first quarter. Roman gets the snap, drops back, looks to his right, throws. Oh, it's caught throw. by Tony Powell inside the 20, inside the 10. Powell lost it in around the five-yard line, lost uh, his, uh, his footing there, and he fell down at the five-yard line. They'll mark him down at the four. So it'll be first and goal Bulldogs. Big pickup, though. Tony Powell on the reception, as that one's going to be good for 23 yards, and Boy, it sets up the dogs first and goal. He threw a dagger then, Van. Excellent. So Gagliano will work it first and goal from the four. And Thomas is the tailback. A wide out either side. Gagliano hands it to Thomas right side. He's inside the five, and he lunges ahead towards the end zone. And I believe a Thunderbird came in and popped him right at the goal line. But they say touchdown. Touchdown. Jamori Thomas got enough Atta to boy. get it in the end zone there. A park crossing Thunderbird came in and laid a lick right at the goal line. But there's an injured player on the field. 13-nothing, a point after pending here for the Thunderbirds. But there is an injury timeout. We'll step aside. A quick 30-second break. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on the kicker. Black Angus is not just a breed, it's a brand that stands for quality and flavor. At Western Sizzling and Opelika, we hand cut our perfectly aged Black Angus steaks every single day. Season it with our unique, one-of-a-kind seasoning and cook it just how you like it, to perfection. Need someone to do the cooking? Join us for our breakfast buffet every Saturday and Sunday morning, and we can cater almost any event. Seven point seven Kicker FM. Back here from the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth at Montgomery's Crampton Bowl, the injured player for the Thunderbirds uh, is up and moving off the field on his own power, which that is. Good to see. That's uh, Cameron Selmer, a uh, defensive lineman who was banged up there on that touchdown run by Jamori Thomas. So one on the ground and one through the air for the Bulldogs. The first, a 20-yard touchdown pass from Roman Gagliano to Caden Cooper. And Jamori Thomas carries it in for the Opelika touchdown. That was a 23-yarder, boy. I tell you that, he threw a dagger then, Van. 
That was a four-yard touchdown run by Jamori Thomas. Here's the point after attempt up and good from Charles Gagliano. Oh, so there's your Opelika Power Services score and drive. That drive powered by Opelika Power Services. Hometown people working for you online at opelikapower.com. While we got a moment, let's get a Four Seasons Federal Credit Union sideline report. Head down and visit with Mac McCracken. Mac, fast start. That's just what we needed. Yes, it sure was. And it is nice. And uh, it's got a slight breeze down here and very comfortable <laughs> evening uh, on like that uh, torrential downpour we had last time we were at the bowl. But, yeah, yeah hey, the, uh, you know, the dogs came out and they're doing exactly what they want to do. I talked to Coach, uh, Offensive Coordinator Coach Jonathan Chandler before the game. I said, hey, we're going to try to open it up here. And he said, first play of the ball game, we're going deep. And that's what Roman did. Uh, hit Caden right there. And then we got Jamori on the on the ground game to get it in there. And defensively, already caused one turnover. And I, say, I think, Dad, you said 0 for 2 on third down conversions right now for the uh, for Park Cross. And so, hey, we're, we're firing on all cylinders all right. and everything's looking good good so far. Mac, that, uh, that was a dagger Roman through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Absolutely. To Jamori, my goodness. Absolutely. And we're play, playing good football right now. Let's see. Hey, here's your kickoff here, Pops. Here we go. All right, so here is uh, Mo Forbes who will kick this one off from right to left and an end over end high kick. It will be returnable. I dropped it at the 10. It's going to go into the end zone. And that's going to be a touchback. All right, that was the best case scenario there for Park Crossing as the kickoff return man there, Lee Beebe Jr., had you know, it bounce off yeah, his shoulder pad and went in the end zone. Van, you know what? Our guy, that bounced off his shoulder pad and went in the end zone. I don't think they'll whistle a ball. If we'd have gone and fell on that ball, it'd been touchdown. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, one of those uh, one of those crazy ones there. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to ask Eric about that one tomorrow. I'll ask him tonight. 14 other dogs on top, 454 left in the first quarter. Park Crossing back with the football. Where out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, single receiver left, but it's a run play all the way. Here's BB oh, trying nice to work the outside, oh. and boy, tough running that's as he's going to run up close to the 29 yard line. So that's a nine yard pickup, biggest play from scrimmage yeah, they for did the good. Thunderbirds. They did good on that one. We tackled him, we tackled him high, and uh, heck, he's a big boy. Six foot, 185 pound senior. In there at tailback. I tell you, they've got one of the biggest. We talked about Lee's line, but, boy, this line's big as well. That's when you've center. got a 375-pound center. I see him. I see him right down there. <laughs> I weighed 195. Second and one for the Thunderbirds from their own 29-yard line. Uh, option play quarterback keeper. Bad decision. Will Gardner's there to bring him down back at the 26-yard line. That's going to be a loss of close to four yards. three yards. <laughs> Good job by the dogs. Nice. Officially, it'll be a loss of three, so it's going to be a third and four now rather than a third and what would have been one with no game. So big time play there by Will Garner getting in the backfield. They have yet to throw a pass. All runs. Well, you got to think Terry Ware is a converted wide receiver just playing quarterback, yeah, so yeah, he I, may not even be able to throw a pass. I agree with you. Third and four for the Thunderbirds from the 26. Here's a handoff right side. BB not enough for the first down this time as he carries it up close to the 29-yard line. Going to be about a yard short. Now, Mark, and maybe almost two yards short here. So it's fourth down, and it looks like it's going to be punting time again for the Thunderbirds with 317 left here in this first quarter. They've got to mark two yards short. Back at the 28-yard line. That's a great job, dogs. 0 for 3 on third down conversions. And they don't have a first down. They've turned the ball over one time. They've run a total of eight plays. And Stinson will drift back just inside the 45 at around the 42-yard line. And Mark Crossing to punt it from their own 28. This boy gets the ball off pretty quick, Van. I think we're going to probably just try to return this. And there's the snap, and yeah. uh, took a couple steps up, and a fair catch called for by Jarrell Stinson at the 44-yard line. So that's where the dogs will start from their own 44. And 2.33 left here in our first quarter of play. Opelika with a 14-0 lead over Park Crossing. Man, we've only ran six plays. We're, we ran six plays, and we're up 14 to nothing. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gagliano comes out, and it'll be Caden Cooper in the backfield. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs from their own 44. 
Gagliano gets the shotgun snap, hands it to Cooper, and uh, slipped inside, and Cooper's going to have it up to the 46-yard line, just a couple yards there on the ground for Caden Cooper. Yeah, that's just about a two-yard gain, isn't it? Yeah, just so. two. So second and eight. You know, kind of the dogs are what we are. It seems like coach for the most part got to have to open it up downfield to kind of get the run game going. Yeah, I agree with you. Opelika from their own 46 here on second down and eight. Two wide receivers to the right side. Gagliano gets the snap, hands it to Cooper, trying to bounce it outside. There's a flag on the play as Cooper runs for the first down. Yeah, it's going to be a hole across down. midfield down to the 45-yard line. What would have been a nine-yard pickup looks like yeah, it will be negated with a holding penalty. They're going to bring this one back. That's that little Green Bay sweep. And, you know, they've uh, they've been uh, using Javante Connor as a blocker, not only a pass catcher, but a, but a blocker here recently. And he's really done a fine job, Van. Yeah, you know, George Myers is injured. He's still punting some and dressing out, but his shoulders right. hurt, so he's unable to run that H-back. So it's pretty much just Tony Powell, and they needed somebody in there. And Javante connor has been the guy. Second and 20 for the dogs after the big loss. Here's Sean Jones on the screen pass trying to set it up across the 40. And Jones carries it to the 43-yard line. So that's a pretty good pickup there, close to nine yards for Sean Jones on the screen pass. All right, here's your third down conversion now. They're one for one so far. A little bit more manageable third down, though. It'll be third and 11 with 1.16 yes. left here in this first quarter. And uh, he's four, uh, Roman's 4-4 four, four throwing. And speaking of Tony Powell, he checks out as Javante Connor stays in at that tight end position. It's going to be third and 11. So it'll be third and 11. Dogs from their own 44-yard line. 56 seconds left here in this first quarter. Play action. Gagliano drops back, wants to take a oh, shot downfield. He's got Jones. Jones has it inside the 20, and Jones brought down at the 10-yard line. Big time throw and catch 47 yards on the first down for a Lambert transfer and storage first down in the Auburn Bank red zone. Set up first and goal. Wow. That a boy. Good job, Roman. Sean Jones. They'll mark it down at the eight yard line. So make that a 45 yard That's throw three, and catch. Three big plays now for the dogs. First and goal from the eight with 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. There's a timeout taken by Park Crossing. We'll take a timeout as well. 14 nothing. It is Opelika over Park Crossing, but the Bulldogs threatening again here early in this one. We're back after this 30 second break. You're listening to Bulldog football here on the kicker. Whatever the season, Reynolds Outdoors has the hunting gear you need. This is Tyler Reynolds with Reynolds Outdoors. The seasons change and so does the hunting game, but I'll guarantee you we have whatever you need for your next hunter hobby. With over 1,000 guns from brands like Benelli, Beretta, and Rosini, apparel brands including Drake, Sitka, and Filson, and so much more to choose from. We have the gear, ammunition, knives, and even fishing gear you need or want to enjoy your next hunt. Come see us today, Reynolds Outdoors, 904 Geneva Street in Opelika. Number one for country. Number one for country. Right now. 97.7 Kicker FM. Back here from the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth at Montgomery's Crampton Bowl. 14 up and Opelika leading Park Cross at 19 seconds left here in this first quarter. The Dogs threatening, though, first and goal inside the 10. It's first and goal from the eight yard line of Park Cross and Jamori Thomas in the backfield. It's play action. Gagliano back to the air for a touchdown throw in the end zone. He hooked up with Javante Connor for the touchdown. A nice throw and catch. A strike from Gagliano to Javante Connor. Connor to put the dogs up 20 to nothing with 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. Wow. Where was that ball at, Van? That was on the eight yard line. Good gracious alive. Big play, that nice job. Eight yard touchdown throw. Roman Gagliano's second touchdown through the air. And this time he hooks up with Javante Connor. That's his fifth touchdown of the season. He's got 91 yards passing. Six of six. Charles Gagliano's point after attempt up and good. At Score and Drive, powered by our friends at Opelika Power Services, hometown people working for you online at opelikapower.com. 21 nothing. all dogs here at Crampton Bowl. We're back after this 30-second break. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on The Kicker.
This is Carlton Hunley with Lambert Transfer and Storage, your local moving and storage company. Coach, how you doing? Doing fine, Carlton. I got great news for you. Good. Van Mack and I are taking you all to Western Sizzling, James Cooper's place for steaks. The only problem is we got to use the company credit card. The company credit card? Yeah, and you hadn't paid me in two weeks. You haven't worked in four weeks. And where's Mike? He's at the beach. Oh, my goodness. Go, Go dogs. Eight-yard touchdown throw for Roland Gagliano to Javante Connor to put the dogs up by 21. Here, 21 to nothing. Bo Forbes kick end over end, and it will be uh, caught at the six-yard line. It will be returnable for Park Crossing. Here's Wilson on the return, and Wilson Good up job. close to the 25-yard line. Brandon Wilson there for Park Crossing, and that's the end of the first quarter. Dogs on top, 21 to nothing over Park Crossing. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on the kicker. This is Joseph Dean with Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory. When you've experienced the loss of a loved one, you can trust Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory to guide you through the process of honoring their life. With over 120 years of experience, our directors and staff are dedicated to serving East Alabama with premier funeral, cremation, and memorial options. With exceptional attention to detail and utmost respect to our families, we provide an unmatched level of service. Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory on Frederick Road in Opelika or online at FrederickDean.com. We're back here at Crampton Bowl for the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth. Van Riggs alongside Coach Spence McCracken. Mac McCracken down to the sidelines. Mac, what a fast start for the Bulldogs here tonight. Absolutely. I know on the car ride down here, we were talking about, you know, roaming early, kind of overthrowing and getting a little, a little hyper excited in the first, but he's really slowed it down and just been able to All hit right. the boys in the stride real good. And uh, great catch there by Sean um, on that deep pass there. Mac, six of six for 113 yards. Hey, Van, come back to me after this play real quick. All right, we will. Starting the second quarter, dogs on top 21 to nothing. It's been a tough go so far. It's an option play again. Terry Ware trying to run to the left side, and he's going to be chased down by Jake Smith at the 23-yard line. Good job by Jake. 6'2", 210, a junior. Hey, he's got another year, and he is turning into quite a ball player, Van. So there was no gain on the play. Hey, Mac, what you got? Yeah, I was able to get clarification on that kickoff touch by that uh, Port Crossing guy. Yeah. The, the the White Hat told me in high school, if it enters the end zone, no matter touched or not, it completely dead. Okay. Well, then that shows how dumb I am. I didn't know that rule. <laughs> 11-23 left in our first half. 21-0 dogs on top. Movement by Park Crossing yeah, there on jump. second and 10. That's going to back up the Thunderbirds that's, five yards. And that's 20 yards in penalties. Excuse me. That's 10 yards in penalties for them. We've got to give a shout-out also to the Opelika girls flag football team. They have been on a roll this season. They had some games. Uh, to actually, today they were 7-0, uh, I believe, going into today's games. Matthew Johnson back in the studio. Uh, Matthew you in just a moment here. I want you to hop on here and let us know kind of how that one played out this evening here in Opelika. Right now we got a second down and 15 play. Still waiting for Park Crossing to throw the ball. Second down and 15. A dropping back is where he pitches it out. Oh, Bad late. move. That's going to be a negative play. A loss of close to five back to the 13 yard line. And that was to the tailback BB. And he had nowhere to go. And uh, Ware was pretty much better off running that one. And unfortunately, right now for Park Crossing, without any sort of indication of throwing the ball, the Bulldogs coach are just going to pin their ears back and stop this yeah. run. Yeah, this is – well, they've run the ball ten times, Van. No passes. 0 for 3 on third down conversions. This is their fourth conversion attempt. And uh, we just need to keep hammering them. From their own 14, this will be a third and 19 for Park Crossing with 10.04 left here in the first half. Thunderbirds with two wide outs either side, but it's run play all the way. BB uh, does find a hole up the middle. He's going to be chased down to the 20 yard Good line. Job. Good job. Nice hit there on the uh, over here on the near side by Bryant Tolbert and Jarrell Stinson. It's going to be fourth down and 13. They get about four yard, five yards on that one. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. 
So they marked it down to the 21. That will actually be a gain of seven. 9.33 left in the first half, and Opelika leading 21 to nothing. Stinson will drift back just across the 50 to await this punt at around the 45-yard line. Dogs they showing might, them. They, they bring might. a little pressure here. Yeah, I think they're going to come after this one. That's well, a, Park that's Crossing. A, another penalty on Park <laughs> Crossing. Uh, Matthew, what happened today in the, in the girls' flag football game? Yeah, Van, um, the girls flank football, they had a really good game today. They played uh, Smith Station, uh, came away with a 13 to nothing win, so they stay undefeated on the year. All good right. defensive game, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's 8-0 and on the season there for the girls flag football team. So I do believe that improves their record there to 8-0. and So they continue to roll. Jacqueline Button doing an outstanding job there first year. Yeah, I think, I think they're coming after this one, Van. So the penalty actually was on the dogs. Moved it up five yards. It's fourth and seven now. Jarrell Stinson will stand on around his own 45 to await this punt. The dogs are showing. They may bring some pressure here. High snap. Oh, got man. over the punter's head. It gets into the end zone, and he will just let it go, and it's going to be a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Boy, the punter never went after it. He didn't even try to kick it out of the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. <laughs> and coming up with that one for the Dogs was number 30, and that is uh, Shaney Thomas. So Shaney Thomas comes up with it for the Bulldog touchdown. Dogs go up 27 to nothing, and Coach, that was just a mental lapse on the punter's part there. It sure I was. Think he he thought it was just maybe going to go out of bounds. He just let it sit there in the end zone, and the Bulldogs fall on it for one of the easiest touchdowns Opelika may have all season. Over the over the punter's head into the end zone, and uh, right there for the pickings. Shaney Thomas, the first one there. Bryce Speakman to hold for the extra point. Charles Gagliano's extra point up and good. Yeah, you know, you know that was a, a, a little like that ball game last weekend when Auburn recovered that Arkansas uh, fumble, and then they fell on it in the end zone for a touchdown. And, and the, the boy from Arkansas never went after the ball. So 28 nothing our score. 8.38 left here in the first half. We're back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on the Kicker. Hi, this is Brent Poteet with Opelika Power Services. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other storms can seriously damage power lines and other electrical equipment. Stay away from downed power lines. Always assume a downed power line is live and life-threatening. Do not attempt to remove tree limbs or any other object from a downed line. Warn others to stay away. If you see a down line, call Opelika Power Services at 334-705-5170. Thank you. 97.7 Kicker FM. Back here at Crampton Bowl for the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth. This one getting away from Park Crossing quickly here. 8.38 left in the first half. Opelika leading 28 to nothing over the Thunderbirds. And, and Park Crossing's in a tough spot tonight. New going in. Their uh, backup quarterback had left the team. Their starting quarterback, who's been the quarterback all year, Chase Ford. He, is in, he was in, out injured, and here's a short kick by Mo Forbes, field to the 25, and it will be returnable across the 30-yard line and turn it up around the 35, and out of bounds on that return was Benjamin Knight. A pretty yeah. good return, Park Crossing's best field position they'll have all night, have had all night so far. So we'll see. Terry Ware has kept it on the ground. It's been the option attack tonight for the Park Crossing, but without the threat of any sort of passing game, Opelika has really just pinned their ears back defensively and have uh, really swarmed on this running attack here for the Thunderbirds. Yeah, we got to get we, – we, we on our kickoffs, we don't need to let these people get up to the 40-yard line. We need to keep them – back at least inside the 30 van. BB's the tailback, Terry Ware the quarterback. Two wideouts right side, they'll hand it to BB. He runs it inside and a pretty good hole up to the 41 yard line. 
So pick up a close to four yards. I tell you, those big guys up front, eventually there's got to be a hole. I mean, you've got a 375-pound center, 340 right guard. You're just running between right. on that run. Right. Second down and six from the 41. And they have still yet to throw a pass. I don't, I don't think, think I've ever seen a high school team go this long without throwing the ball, especially when they're down 28 to nothing. Yeah, we may not see one, Coach. <laughs> Two wide outs here to the near side. Single receiver to the right. Ware out of the shotgun. And Ware will await the snap. Long pause there, gets the snap, hands it inside, and Taylor Love is there to bring down the tailback in his tracks. Andre Stoddard, and he goes nowhere. May have lost a yard back to the 39. Yep, third and 12. Actually lost two. And this is actually going to be a third and eight. Scoreboard you, here is incorrect, so it'll be a third and eight with 7-17 left here in the first half. Dogs on top here, 28-0. It's been all Opelika in this one. You bet you're going to see a pass here, Van. <laughs> Coach, I tell you, if they haven't thrown it yet, I don't know if we'll see one all night. If I don't throw it right here, I don't, yeah, you're right. I'm going to give up on the throwing game. It's Ware out of the shotgun with two wideouts either side. Ware will get the snap, and it's a handoff to the right side. And a uh, ball Bobble. popped out. It's picked up by the dogs. That's Bryce Beekman down the sidelines. Bryce is in the clear inside the 10. Five touchdown. Bulldogs. <laughs> Bryce Beekman, his first Bulldog touchdown. It is a scoop and score with 640 left here in the first quarter. Or the a, first half. Hey, the head coach's boy. Now, I know Miss Beekman is really happy, and I know that brings a smile to Eric's face right there. Scoop and score. Great job. <laughs> right place, right time for Bryce Speakman. He scooped it up down the sidelines and he was off to the races. And that time Andre Stoddard was trying to fight for extra yards and the ball just popped down again and uh, things crumbling away here for Park Crossing. 6.36 left in the first half. Here's the point after attempt. Charles Gagliano boots it through. Dogs rolling 35 nothing over Park Crossing and we're back here in 30 seconds. You're listening to Bulldog Football on the kicker. Check this out. From zero, zero percent interest. No charge. Three-year scheduled maintenance. Three-year scheduled maintenance. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. 179 a month. 179 a month. Five-year, five-year roadside assistance. No payment for 90 days. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. Thousands in bonus cash. Bonus cash. 10-year, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Locally owned, selling locally built cars. Thank, Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. Auburn. HyundaiofAuburn.com. HyundaiofAuburn.com. Thank you. Back here at Crampton Bowl for the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth for the Bulldog fans in the stands. Certainly enjoying this one so far. 35 nothing over Park Crossing. 636 still remaining here in this second quarter. And uh, that is two costly fumbles tonight for Park Crossing. That one a big scoop and score. Bryce Speakman scoops up and takes it in for the touchdown. And that is Bryce's first varsity touchdown. So you know. Big Bryce is excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, you know what? I played for all in many years, 20s. I never did. I never scooped and scored. Never had that happen. Hard when you're center, though, Coach. You know? Yeah, I know. I played defense, so I was a linebacker in high school. They didn't run the center sneak for you at all? No, Auburn. no. I never <laughs> scored a touchdown. Mo Forbes kicks that one end over end. Fielded at the 19, across the 25, across the 30. A pretty good return across the 40, up to the 42, maybe the 43. So if one thing has been negative tonight, Night. For the Bulldogs, it's been a little bit on the kickoff team so yep, far. Yep. Well, Forbes is just kicking that ball to about the 20, and it got much air under it, and they running it back pretty good right there. So, all right, let's see what we can do again here. We back McCracken, how excited was Bryce Speakman coming off the field there? Oh, he was fired. He, he was more fired up than his dad was. Old Javante Carter just ran right down the sideline and gave uh, Coach Beekman a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. That's wonderful. 6-17 remaining here in this second quarter. 35-0 Bulldogs. And Park Crossing's got a penalty. Not sure if that was a delay of game. Matt, was that delay a game? Had to be. Yeah, I believe so. Five-yard penalty. That will back up the Thunderbirds. They'll start from their own 37-yard line. 
trips left, single receiver right for the Thunderbirds. No indication of passing as Ware will uh, play action, actually option play, and he runs it to the right side. He picks up those five yards on the penalty and will get back to the original line of scrimmage, back to the 42. So this will be second and 10 coming up for the Thunderbirds as we hit the five-minute mark left here in the first half. Uh, Jarrell Stinson in on that tackle. Jake Smith ran that little option play around that. The little quarterback, is a, he's a good little runner, Van. Yeah, normally a wide receiver for Park Crossing, being forced to kind of come in and play the quarterback position. And dog fans remember that when Matthew Christian went down that season and you had to have a – you know, some changes there for, for Opelika. Right, right. Trips to the left, single receiver to the right side. Perfect. Ware long count here, and Ware will hand it off to Beebe, trying to work the left side and just nowhere really to cut it up. He tries to stiff arm a defender and makes a little bit of forward progress up to the 46-yard line for a four-yard pickup. So that'll set up a third and manageable. No, oh, we got hail big time. Aren't their left tackle? Grabbed a hold of Brenton Williams and let him go. Stephen Roberts, uh, if you remember, Coach was the wideout that moved over yeah, and, and played quarterback that. that season in the playoffs, too, and did a pretty good job. Um, I remember that. Of course, year. Coach Blackman did uh, did get <laughs> Stephen to throw a few passes here and there, too. Yeah, well, that, they're, they haven't thrown one yet. They have not thrown one. Third Fif and six. Fifteen plays. That, you might see it here. Third down and six, 343 remaining. Here in this first half, as Park Crossing trails 35 to nothing to Opelika, and I believe Coach, no, no timeout. There's a flag on the play over on the far side, and it's an illegal procedure penalty against Park Crossing. So, boy, just when they had a third and six, it's going to be a third and 11. That's 20 yards of penalties now on Park Crossing. They got a holding penalty and two offsides penalties. Well, I tell you one thing uh, with Park Cross, it certainly isn't a coaching problem over there. You got a guy like LC Cole running the uh, running the program over there. Right. It's just, I think, right now, uh, an issue of getting the right guys in the system for him. And there's another, another fumble, fumble, and I believe Park Crossing was able to fall on this one. Andre Stoddard, the running back, was able to fall on it, but it will be a loss back to the 38-yard line. And this will be a fourth down and round 15, and Park Crossing forced to punt it back to the Bulldogs. Jarrell Stinson and Nick Covington will go back to await this punt. The last punt went over the punter's head into the end zone for a Bulldog touchdown. So we'll have to watch the snap very closely here. I think they're going. I think they're going to return this. It looks like it. I don't know. I don't know. Showing a little bit of pressure here by the dogs. Well, he snapped the last one over the head, so they might come after this one. That snap a little better, and the punt will be able to get away here at the 32-yard line. Stinson dropped it and fumbled it. There's a scramble for it, and Park Crossing's going to have it at the 29-yard line. Finally, something for the Thunderbirds goes yeah, their way, poor. and Stinson dropped that one. He got hit when it hit the ground, and the Thunderbirds come up with it. And recovering that fumble was Jerome Swanson for the Thunderbirds, and for the first time tonight, they're across uh, really midfield at the 29-yard line of Opelika, first and 10. Yeah, Jarrell's got to concentrate more on those punt returns than that. So here's Terry Ware and uh, the Thunderbirds with some a little bit of momentum. Trips to the right side, single receiver to the left. No passes yet still for Park Crossing. This there time they show go. pass. Ware throws, and it is incomplete. He threw it behind his intended wideout. He tried to get it over to number 13. That's a Jarvis Hampton incomplete, and it'll be second and 10 again from the Bulldog 29. That's his first pass. We knew it was coming, Coach. It was just waiting for that right time. <laughs> he threw it on first down, too. That yeah, tried to, tried to get a slant me, pass there. Caught us off guard a little bit there. It looked like his wide receiver and him were not on the same page. Hope like it stays in that four-man front. Second down and 10 at the Bulldog 29. This time back to the ground game. Here's BB trying to work the left side, and BB's forced out of bounds at the 27-yard line. 
So just a couple yards there on the ground and a 146 remaining here in this first half. 35 nothing Bulldogs on top of Park Crossing. The Thunderbirds trying to take advantage of a muffed punt by the Bulldogs, which set them up with their best field position at the 29. They currently sit at the Bulldog 27. It's third and eight. Probably maybe see a throw here, Van. Yep, third and eight. And where? With just one pass attempt so far, which was incomplete on this drive. They're 0 for 7 on third down conversions. Ware out of the shotgun, long look in, long wait. As he snaps the ball, he'll hand it to BB. BB tracked down, he's gonna be wrapped up and he's thrown back for a loss. Marciah Collins with the big tackle for loss for the Bulldogs. Great job by Marciah right there. And that's gonna be all the way back to the 30 yard line. That will be a loss of three yards and it'll be fourth and 10. Uh, 47, I think they'll probably go for this, don't you think? I think they will, but L.C. Cole's going to let every every uh, minute of this uh, game clock wind down here, and it will uh, leave us with just about 20 seconds left here in this first half. 35 nothing timeout coming from Park Cross, and we'll step aside, take a one-minute break. Bulldogs on top, 35 to nothing, and we're back in a minute here on the kicker. Hello, this is Coley Trent of Jeffco Trent. We at Jeffco Trent are here to serve Auburn, Opelika, and Lee County. We are your hometown funeral home and crematory with the only crematory located in Lee County. Here at Jeffco Trent, it's a privilege for our family to be serving your family in your time of need. Our family serving yours. Rely on Jeffco Trent. Hi, this is Brent Poteet with Opelika Power Services. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other storms can seriously damage power lines and other electrical equipment. Stay away from down power lines. Always assume a down power line is live and life-threatening. Do not attempt to remove tree limbs or any other object from a down line. Warn others to stay away. If you see a down line, call Opelika Power Services at 334-705-5170. Thank you. Welcome back to Crampton Bowl. It'll be fourth and ten for Park Crossing. They let every second tick away here. I'm going to kick a field goal. On man. the play clock, and it's 18 seconds remaining, and it will be a field goal attempt here for the Thunderbirds. 45-yarder. And this is their new kicker, I guess, that just transferred in. We don't have him on the roster. Number 86, we can say that. This will be from the 29-yard line. So this will be about a 46-yard field goal attempt, way short. Hit only about a, about a foot or two in the end zone, so it's no good. 35-0, our score stays. Bulldogs on top of Park Crossing. And Opelika will come back out with a chance to run the last 10 seconds off this uh, first half here and head into the locker room pretty comfortable with this 35-0 uh, lead. So 46 yard field goal attempt officially no good. Yeah, we're going we're going to see a bunch of our youngins play in the second half. We will. And we'll probably he'll probably let the starters go out there and play one series. Here's Roman Gagliano. He's in the victory formation as uh, Gagliano will take a knee, run out in the last 10 seconds. Dogs head into the locker room with a 35 to nothing lead here at the end of the first half. Back McCracken, pretty good first half, don't you think? Absolutely. Everything that they wanted to do, uh, they accomplished in the first half. Uh, offense looked uh, crisp, and the defense attacked after it. And I mean, you can't say anything more. So they did really well in the first half. Let's, let's see if we can just uh, get it rolling, keep it rolling in the second half. All right, we'll take a quick one-minute break. We'll come back here, and then a little bit later on, we've got Neil Sasser, Opelika Band Director, who will be joining us here at the half. But one-minute break, back here to Crampton Bowl after this timeout, 35 nothing. We're at the half. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on the Kicker. 
Check this out. From zero, zero percent interest. No charge. Three-year scheduled maintenance. Three-year scheduled maintenance. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. 179 a month. 179 a month. Five-year, five-year roadside assistance. No payment for 90 days. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. Thousands in bonus cash. Bonus cash. Ten year, ten year, one hundred thousand mile powertrain warranty. Locally owned, selling locally built cars. Thank, Thank you, you, Hyundai of Auburn. Auburn. Hyundai of Auburn. Hyundai of Auburn.com. Thank you. Bending, stretching, walking. The simple moves in life are a real challenge with joint pain. When that happens, the Orthopedic Clinic is here to help. The Orthopedic Clinic offers a comprehensive range of restoring services, from total and partial joint replacement to bone health programs, physical therapy, and sports medicine. With offices conveniently located in Auburn and Opelika, the Orthopedic Clinic is close to home and here to help you stay in motion. Visit theorthoclinic.com to schedule your appointment today. We're back here at Crampton Bowl. Van Riggs joined alongside Coach Spitz McCracken, Mike McCracken. I believe we are here already. It is halftime between Opelika and Park Crossing. And at this time, we'd like to visit with our band director at Opelika High School. Neil Sasser joins up with us here at the half. Neil, appreciate you taking time and joining us today. Uh, thanks for having me. All right, well, tell us kind of a little bit about the Spirit of the South Band here this season. I know everybody's seen the band perform at Bulldog Stadium, or at least uh, hopefully have had a chance to see the band perform. Another big group out, and I know you've kind of got a couple of different units you've been taking to ball games. You've got the contest competition band that's performing here tonight at Crampton Bowl. Yes, sir. Um, we, we have our Spirit of the South, uh, which this year is 181 members, and then we have a uh, smaller uh, contest group that we have been using as well. That's 88 members, and, and both have worked very, very well this year. And I know those 88 or so members you mentioned in the contest band, you have to try out for that group. Yes, sir. Alex City, you had a competition recently there? We did. We did very well. Um, superior ratings in all categories and, and third overall out of 25. And I know practice and preparation, we see the band start working very early before the football season. Just what time does the band get together before school starts and start their preparation for the fall? At this time, we would like to recognize our 2021-2022 corporate sponsors talk a little bit about this year's halftime show for those that have been able to watch it at bulldog stadium or, or on the road okay uh for our big band the spirit of the south uh, we feature the music of bon jovi you give love a bad name uh fiance crazy in love uh queen crazy little thing called love and our hymn that we've performed this year is a uh, a New Orleans-style arrangement of Just a Closer Walk. Uh, with the contest band, um, our show this year has featured the music of, of various James Bond movies. Now, when you've got the two different groups, I'm assuming they all practice together, but do you have separate times that you practice just with the contest band? We do. Um, Mondays uh, has just been for contest band this year. Tuesday and Thursdays, we, we split between both bands, and um, we've had one or two extra rehearsals to get ready for other events. How many seniors do you have? I know senior night the other night, it looked like a pretty big group. We have a great group of seniors this year. Uh, not too many. I, I believe we have 25 seniors total. Um, so we are in great shape to grow next year. Yeah, and how is it when you lose seniors? I know on a football team, sometimes when you lose the upperclassmen, it's tough to sort of regroup and get your team back ready to go sometimes. But how is it as far as band goes? It, it is no different with band, and you just have to plan ahead and plan your music to feature what you have. Um, we're stronger in some sections than others from year to year. We're visiting here at the half with Neil Sasser, band director at Opelika High School, halftime between Opelika and Park Crossing. And, uh, Neil, what's up after? I know the playoffs will be here. You'll be traveling along with the football team as far as the dogs can go. Uh, what happens uh, after football season is over as you get into the holidays. Any big competitions or trips coming up? Uh, we have all of our Christmas activities for the city of Opelika, and after that we'll get ready for state um, assessment with our concert bands, um, followed by auditions for next year. And um, we are taking the uh, the big band this year to uh, Orlando for a parade down there in March. 
Well, for anybody that's listening out there, their kids may be a little younger, not quite at the high school age. What time do they need to start preparing and getting ready for tryouts and what grades and everything uh, will that start up? Uh, we start band here uh, in Opelika in the seventh grade. And um, just as they're transitioning from sixth to seventh, look for that information comes out, that comes out. And the more, the merrier. Neil Sassard, band director here at Opelika High School. Neil, we always appreciate the band, the great work they do at the football games. And, of course, love seeing them around town and all the different various events that you mentioned. There's a ton of Christmas events, so plenty of opportunities to see the band perform uh, not only at the football games but around town. There's a ton of Christmas events coming up and we appreciate the work you do and thanks so much for taking time out and joining us here at the half. Thank you and go dogs. Half time here at Montgomery's Cramp Bowl between Opelike and Park Crossing. We'll continue with more coverage at the half after this. You're listening to Bulldog Football on 97.7 Kicker FM. Hi, I'm Eric Canada with South State Bank. Whether personal, commercial, or mortgage, our team has the experience to assist you with all your banking needs. We are located on Enterprise Drive in Tigertown, 2nd Avenue in downtown Opelika, and on East University Drive in Auburn. Stop by one of our convenient locations and give us the opportunity to earn your business. South State. Hey Van, how long do you want this FDIC break to be? An equal housing lender. No matter what stage of life you're in, it's never too early to start looking to the future. Hello, my name is Keith Blackman at Country Financial. When you work with me, you get a one-on-one relationship and the added support of a team of experts. Together, we can put a plan in place to help protect what you Roll it through the end of this one. ...solutions that make sense for you right now and prepare for the future you want. When you're ready to start, we're ready to help. Through the end of this segment or through the end of this commercial? Now the end of the break here. The whole spot block. Play it. Okay. I can see the log on, on my phone, so just play it and go all the way through it. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other storms can seriously damage power lines and other electrical equipment. Stay away from down power lines. Always assume a down power line is live and life-threatening. Do not attempt to remove tree limbs or any other object from okay. a down Am I coming line. back to you? Warn others to stay away. If you see a down yes. line, call Opelika Power Services at 334-705-5170. Thank you. Check this out. From zero, zero percent interest. No charge. Three years scheduled maintenance. Three years scheduled maintenance. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. 179 a month. 179 a month. Five year, five year roadside assistance. No payment for 90 days. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. Thousands in bonus cash. Bonus cash. 10 year, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Locally owned, selling locally built cars. Thank, Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. HyundaiofAuburn.com. HyundaiofAuburn.com. Thank you. Four Seasons Federal Credit Union. Homegrown and never owned. Would you like a lower interest rate on your loan? Refinance at Four Seasons Federal Credit Union and pay less interest over the life of the loan. Some members have saved thousands of dollars. Visit apply.fourseasonsfcu.com or stop by a local branch. Federally insured by NCUA, equal opportunity lender, subject to membership and credit approval. Some exclusions apply. Life isn't made for joint or orthopedic pain. It's made for living, for family, for your favorite hobbies, for sports, for morning walks and afternoon playing in the park. If you suffer from joint or orthopedic orthopedic pain, turn to the experts at the Orthopedic Clinic. Our board-certified surgeons provide cutting-edge surgical procedures and high-quality, innovative services all close to home. Don't let joint or orthopedic pain keep you from doing all the things you love. Visit theorthoclinic.com and schedule an appointment today. Lee County's best country, 97.7 Kicker FM. We are back here at Montgomery's Cranston Bowl, coming to you from the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth. East Alabama's go-to center for orthopedic care, two lo locations, 1800 Late Side Circle in Auburn, 18 Medical Arts Center, 121 North 20th Street in Opelika, and online at the orthopedic orthoclinic.com. Van Riggs. Joined alongside Coach Spence McCracken, Mac McCracken on our sidelines tonight. It is all Opelika, 35 to nothing. The scoring got started in the first half as Roman Gagliano on the first play from scrimmage threw a 20-yard touchdown pass to Caden Cooper in the end zone to put the dogs up. Second score would come on the ground. Jamori Thomas, a four-yard touchdown run. And then Roman Gagliano went back to the air, a eight-yard touchdown strike in the end zone for touchdown number three. And then it was the special teams coming in big 
as the punt went over, the snap went over the punter's head inside the 30-yard line, went all the way into the end zone. The punter for Park Crossing just let it go. It stayed in the end zone, and it was Shaney Thomas coming up and falling on it for the Bulldogs in the end zone. And then to complete all three phases of the scoring for the Bulldogs, it was Bryce Speakman on a 30-yard scoop and score of a fumble. And Bryce Speakman got his first career Opelika Bulldog varsity touchdown as he scooped it and took it all the way into the end zone for a defensive scoop and score, and the Dogs sit with a 35 to nothing lead here at the uh, end of the first half as we are at the half, and right now Park Crossing has only attempted one pass as they've been very limited with Terry Ware at quarterback, who's filling in for the injured Chase Ford, and the backup quarterback no longer with the program from our understanding, so really right now, Park Crossing having to move in a wide receiver to play quarterback, and it has not been a good recipe for this very good Opelika Bulldog defense. 35 nothing again is our halftime score. Spirit of the South Marching Band getting ready to perform here at Montgomery's Crampton Bowl. We'll take a break and listen in after this. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on The Kicker. Hello, this is Coley Tran of Jeff Coat Tran Funeral Home and Crematory. My dad Bill and I are pleased to be part of the How Auburn, long did you want Opelika, this one to be? The the block, or did you we shop here, care? worship here, just, and cheer just roll every break, lot the whole spot block here at the half. You and your family, compassionate, caring, and professional service. That's the cornerstone of earning your trust. Let our longtime hometown staff help you when you need us. We're Jeff Coat Tran Funeral Home and Crematory. Black Angus is not just a breed, it's a brand that stands for quality and flavor. At Western Sizzling and Opelika, we hand cut our perfectly aged Black Angus steaks every single day. Season it with our unique, one-of-a-kind seasoning and cook it just how you like it, to perfection. Need someone to do the cooking? Join us for our breakfast buffet every Saturday and Sunday morning, and we can cater almost any event. Check this out. From zero, zero percent interest. No charge. Three-year scheduled maintenance. Three-year scheduled maintenance. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. One seventy-nine a month. One seventy-nine a month. Five-year, five-year roadside assistance. No payment for ninety days. Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. Thousands in bonus cash. Bonus cash. Ten-year, ten-year, one hundred thousand mile powertrain warranty. Locally owned, selling locally built cars. Thank, Thank you, Hyundai of Auburn. HyundaiofAuburn.com. HyundaiofAuburn.com. Thank you. I am Tire Man. King and Dust Tire of a Buy 85. X is 77 on the Jim's Tire. Best tire prices for you and me. 7, 5, 6, 8, 4, 7, 3. Kenny Knox Tire Center has the best prices in the area. The price they quote is the price you pay. Napa Auto Care Center and certified dealer from Michelin, BF Goodrich, Toyo Tires, just to name a few. Offering oil changes, auto repair, and general maintenance. For the greatest deal on wheels, go online at KennyKnoxTire.com for an estimate or call 334-756-8473. Having trouble finding furniture amidst COVID-19? Gory's Furniture has you covered. We're packed wall-to-wall with trucks bringing furniture every day. Come see us at Gory's Furniture, 3797 Highway 169 in Opelika. If you see something you like, take it with you or have us deliver. Only at Gory's Furniture. Visit us online at gorysfurniture.com. Gory's Furniture Express, your express way to save Life isn't made for joint or orthopedic pain. It's made for living, for family, for your favorite hobbies, for sports, for morning walks and afternoon playing in the park. If you suffer from joint or orthopedic pain, turn to the experts at the Orthopedic Clinic. Our board-certified surgeons provide cutting-edge surgical procedures and high-quality, innovative services all close to home. Don't let joint or orthopedic pain keep you from doing all the things you love. Visit theorthoclinic.com and schedule an appointment today.
We're back here at Crampton Bowl from the Orthopedic Clinic broadcast booth. I'm Van Riggs, 35 nothing. Our score as the Opelika Bulldogs cruising here at Crampton Bowl. We'll give you some score updates. Uh, right now, unfortunately, the Dodgers have taken a 3-2 lead on the Atlanta Braves. Uh, bottom of the second, game five of the NLCS. Uh, Braves were leading that one 2 to nothing until the bottom of the second, and the Dodgers have fought back to take that 3-2 lead. Uh, elsewhere, NFL action, the Browns are leading the Broncos 10 to nothing with uh, 14.53 left in the second quarter. Some college football action as uh, Louisiana leads Arkansas State 14 to nothing as they play late second quarter. And uh, number 21, SMU, they lead Tulane 24 to 7 as that one is winding down the first half. 2.38 left in the first half there. And uh, with just three seconds left in the first half, Charlotte leads FAU 9 to 7 with uh, some college football action. Also, a game going on later tonight out west, UNLV hosting San Jose State. That one will kick off at 10 Central late tonight on the CBS Sports Network. But high school football action right here. Opelika leading Park Crossing 35 to nothing here at the half. When we come back, we'll run down some of the area action happening tomorrow and a couple of games for the dogs to look uh, forward to and look out for tomorrow night that will have a, a potential playoff matchup implication for the dogs. And that's all when we come back here at the half. Our halftime show driven by the Orthopedic Clinic, and we're back after this timeout here on the kick. This just in, Auburn Bank has completed their 114th year of serving their community. This next one goes out to Auburn Bank, champions of you. Touchdown, Auburn Bank, the champions of you are 114 and 0. Welcome to Auburn Bank. How can we help? I hear y'all are undefeated. Helping you achieve your financial goals is our goal. Visit championsofyou.com to see how we can serve you. Auburn Bank, champions of you. Member FDIC. This is Joseph Dean with Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory. When you've experienced the loss of a loved one, you can trust Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory to guide you through the process of honoring their life. With over 120 years of experience, our directors and staff are dedicated to serving East Alabama with premier funeral, cremation, and memorial options. With exceptional attention to detail and utmost respect to our families, we provide an unmatched level of service. Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory on Frederick Road in Opelika or online at frederickdean.com. No matter what stage of life you're in, it's never too early to start looking to the future. Hello, my name is Keith Blackman at Country Financial. When you work with me, you get a one-on-one -on -one relationship and the added support of a team of experts. Together, we can put a plan in place to help protect what you have today with insurance solutions that make sense for you right now and prepare for the future you want. When you're ready to start, we're ready to help. Give me a call. Keith Blackman, Country Financial, 334-644-3533. This is Zach Alsterbrook of Alsterbrook Law Group. I'm excited to announce that our firm has relocated to the site of the historic greenhouse located in the corner of North Knight Street and Opelika Road, downtown Opelika. We have been proudly serving Lee County and the surrounding areas for over 10 years in family law, criminal defense, DUI, and personal injury. If you're in need of representation and has your best interest at heart, go to alsolaw.com or call us at 737-3718. No representation is made. The quality of the legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. All right, Opelika Bulldog football fans, it's Friday night. It's game night. I'm not only one of the parents of the players on the field, but my name's Jeff Myers. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Church of Opelika. We'd like to invite you out this Sunday to one of our many services, all age grades, all stages of life. This Sunday, go to fbcopelika.com for all of our service times and ministry opportunities. It's Friday night. Let's get back to football. Go dogs. Would you like a lower interest rate on your loan? Refinance at Four Seasons Federal Credit Union and pay less interest over the life of the loan. Some members have saved thousands of dollars. Visit apply.fourseasonsfcu.com or stop by a local branch. Federally insured by NCUA, equal opportunity lender, subject to membership and credit approval. Some exclusions apply. The Kicker.
Back here, Crampton Bowl, all Bulldogs, 35 to nothing as we get ready for the second half. And our halftime show is uh, powered by the Orthopedic Clinic. Uh, some games of interest uh, tomorrow night in 6A to keep an eye on for Bulldog fans. Northridge travels to Macadory. Now Opelika will match up against the loser of that game. So Northridge is at Macadory. The Dogs' opponent on November 5th, the Bulldog Stadium, will be the uh, loser on that game. And then also on the other side of the bracket, down at the bottom of the bracket, one to watch out for, McGill Tulin is at Spanish Fort. Now the uh, winner of that game will uh, be down at the bottom of the bracket, and the winner of that game will actually uh, move up to face and travel to Lanier. Uh, in uh, the first round of the playoffs coming up on the November the 5th as we await our visit with Coach Eric Speakman. 35 nothing Dogs with the lead. And uh, other action tomorrow night with area teams. you got Auburn hosting Enterprise, homecoming at the Duck. Central Phoenix City takes the week off. Smith Station hosting Dothan. Russell County tomorrow night will host Carver. Borgard also with the week off. Tallahassee home against Central Clay County. Valley hosting Robert E. Lee. And Lynette heads to Horseshoe Bend. Daveville's at Beulah. Lafayette is at Vincent. Realtown hosts Pike County. Beulah at Goshen. Low Chipoke at Barber County. Nautosolga hosting Verbena. Lee Scott the week off. Glenwood hosting Pike Liberal Arts. Springwood hosting Macon East. And Chambers travels to Birmingham to face Banks Academy. When we come back, we'll uh, Get a pre or get our halftime visit with Coach Speakman after this timeout. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on the Kicker. Rely on Jeffco Trent, our family serving you. Hello, this is Coley Trent of Jeffco Trent. We at Jeffco Trent are here to serve Auburn, Opelika, and Lee County. We are your hometown funeral home and crematory, with the only crematory located in Lee County. Here at Jeffco Trent, it's a privilege for our family to be serving your family in your time of need. Our family serving yours. Rely on Jeffco Trent. Having trouble finding furniture amidst COVID-19? Gory's Furniture has you covered. We're packed wall Matthew, to wall you got me with a cue trucks here. bringing furniture every day. Come see us at Gory's Furniture, 3797 Highway 169 in Opelika. If you see something you like, take it with you or have us deliver. Only at Gory's Furniture. Visit us online at gorysfurniture.com. Gory's Furniture Express, your express way to savings. Hey, Matthew, bring me back after this one. Matthew, bring me back after this one. More money in your pocket. Refinance at Four Seasons Federal Credit Union. We just helped a member save over $600 a month, and we would like to help you. Visit apply.fourseasonsfcu.com or stop by a local branch. Federally insured by NCUA, equal opportunity lender, subject to membership and credit approval. Some exclusions apply. Black Angus is not just a breed. It's a brand that stands for quality and flavor. At Western Sizzling and Opelika, we hand cut our perfectly aged Black Angus steaks every single day. Season it with our unique one of a kind seasoning and cook it just how you like it to perfection. Need someone to do the cooking? Join us for our breakfast buffet every Saturday and Sunday morning and we can cater almost any event. We're back here at Crampton Bowl. Time for our halftime visit with Coach Speakman. It's brought to you by Hyundai of Auburn. Mac McCracken down on the field with Coach. Thanks a lot, guys. Coach Speakman, uh, we knew tonight, like we talked about, we got to get on it early on these guys, and we've uh, we've shown it so far. Yeah, it started fast. We talked about that coming over here and talked all week about these seniors playing and winning tonight. Uh, if they win, you know, obviously, hopefully, we'll hold this 35-point lead, but they will become the winningest team as far as seniors go in our region You know, when you just uh, only do region play they will be 19 and 0 over three years and that'll pass the uh, 14 15 and 16 group that won 18 games so these guys got fortunate they played one extra game so we'll we will finish this one out and get these seniors another win and get them undefeated throughout their career all right coach let's continue yep all right final break we'll come back we'll get you ready for your second half after this timeout 35 nothing dogs on top and we're back with your second half after this you're listening to bulldog football on the kicker 
Hi, this is Brent Poteet with Opelika Power Services. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other storms can seriously damage power lines and other electrical equipment. Stay away from down power lines. Always assume a down power line is live and life-threatening. Do not attempt to remove tree limbs or any other object from a down line. Warn others to stay away. If you see a down line, call Opelika Power Services at 334-705-5170. Thank you. Whatever the season, Reynolds Outdoors has the hunting gear you need. This is Tyler Reynolds with Reynolds Outdoors. We'll come back after this one. So does the hunting game, but I'll guarantee you we have whatever you need for your next hunter hobby. With over 1,000 guns from brands like Benelli, Beretta, and Rosini, apparel brands including Drake, Sitka, and Filson, and so much more to choose from. We have the gear, ammunition, knives, and even fishing gear you need or want to enjoy your next hunt. Come see us today. Reynolds Outdoors, 904 Geneva Street in Opelika. 7.7 Kicker FM, your iHeart Country Station. Kick is fielded by Jamor and Satterwhite on the return across the 35-40. Satterwhite's got a return set up across midfield, and he is pushed out of bounds at around the 35-yard line. Good return there by Jamor and Satterwhite as we open up the third quarter. And we have got a shortened uh, clock here. I, I, I believe here to start the second half. Mac, have you got any clarification? Is that right? 544 left here in the third? Yeah, I think they're just going to play with the six-minute quarters. Okay, six-minute quarters. Running, running clock. Golly, I've never All heard right. that before. That, that, <laughs> oh, golly, six-minute quarters. That's pretty good, Mac. I like that. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll right get there. you to Valdosta a little bit earlier tomorrow. Yeah, and it, <laughs> and it is running too. 524 left already here in this third quarter. So this I, is going to be a quick second half. Let me give you, when you get a minute, that van, I got to give you the first half stats. All right, JT really McCardle is going to work the quarterback position here for the Bulldogs at the 35 of Park Cross. And he will hand it off to Ja'Cory Thornton who uh, carries it ahead down to the 32-yard line for a two-yard pickup. So, boy, I, I have not seen that coach either. I've, I've seen the running clock before, but not six-minute quarters. Goodness. Yeah, we just scored. I, I don't think I don't think Eric's going to do anything but run it here. Here is uh, Doolittle carrying it to the left side. Doolittle inside the 30, and Doolittle's down to the 28-yard line. Another five yards on the ground for the Dogs. 435 again, shortened quarters here in the second half. Dogs leading 35 to nothing as we're underway here in the second quarter, or the second half here in the third quarter. Man, we only had 11 snaps on offense in the first half. Wow. 11 snaps. McCardle out of the shotgun. Third and two, and here is a handoff to Doolittle. Doolittle bounces outside inside the 25. Doolittle trying to shake a tackler, and he's brought down at the 21-yard line. That's enough for a Lambert transfer and storage. First down with 4.05 left here in this third quarter. That first half, we had 11 snaps. We had 14 yards rushing and 111 yards passing. 150, that'd be 125 yards. Uh, one third down conversion, three first downs, three big plays, one turnover. Two left, uh, single receiver right for McCardle. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. It is a handoff to the right side. And on the carry for the Dogs, that's to Corey Thornton. And Thornton carries it down to the 17-yard line. And uh, Park Crossing had – check this out. They had 18 snaps. They had 21 yards rushing, no yards passing, 0 for 8 on third down conversions, three turnovers. That was the big problem with them. Ball on the 17, a park crossing, dog second down and six. McCardle out of the shotgun and a quick handoff in the backfield. Oh, and boy, Ja'Cory goodness. Thornton is swallowed up there in the backfield by Cedric Tell of Park Crossing. That's going to be big loss on the play there, and I believe that's the biggest negative play for the it dogs is. all game. It is. This will be third and 11 now for the dogs at the Park Crossing, 23. I think they're probably going to run the ball left and try to kick a field goal. Are they going to play throw? action? McCardle's going to throw it inside Not the boy. 10. It's complete for a first down. Nice throw and catch for the Bulldogs. And on the other end of that reception was Jordan Tolbert. So nice throw and catch as McCardle hits Tolbert. And that play is good for the seven-yard line. 
back. So that's going to be a 10-yard throw and catch for the first down. Very good. That was a nice throw. Here's a handoff to the right side, trying to find some running room. Over here on this near side was Sondrikius Cooper and could not turn the edge up there. So that's a loss of a couple back around the 10-yard line. I believe that's a loss of three for the dogs. That'll set up a second and goal. Actually going to be from the 11-yard line with 158 left here in this running shortened third quarter. We're almost to the fourth quarter, Coach. And yes, sir. It's not 8-15. 35 nothing dogs with the lead. Handoff up the middle. And there's a good run there. Slip it in the ball game was number 43, Rakavian Howell. And Howell carries it to the four. So this will be third and goal from the four. Howell stays in at tailback. McCardle out of the shotgun, trips to the left side, single receiver right. Third and goal at the four. Third and goal from the four for the dogs. McCardle out of the shotgun. And Howell got the handoff, but the whistles come in. And it's going to be a procedure penalty against the Bulldogs. 106 remaining here in this third quarter. If you're just joining us, it will be a shortened second half. We are playing six-minute quarters here in the second half as the Dogs are on top here, 35-0. Third down and goal from the nine. Here's a handoff in the backfield. Stutter stepping in the backfield is Cooper. That's Sondrikius Cooper. And it will be fourth and goal. Just a short pickup of a yard. It'll be fourth and goal from the nine. And there's an injured player on the field. So we'll step aside. One minute timeout. Dogs on top here. 35 nothing. We're back in a minute. You're listening to Bulldog Football on the kicker. No matter what stage of life you're in, it's never too early to start looking to the future. Hello, my name is Keith Blackman at Country Financial. When you work with me, you get a one-on-one -on -one relationship and the added support of a team of experts. Together, we can put a plan in place to help protect what you have today with insurance solutions that make sense for you right now and prepare for the future you want. When you're ready to start, we're ready to help. Give me a call, Keith Blackman, Country Financial, 334-644-3533. Hello, this is Coley Tran of Jeff Coat Tran Funeral Home and Crematory. My dad Bill and I are pleased to be part of the Auburn, Opelika, Lee County area. We shop here, worship here, and cheer on the home teams. It's a true honor to serve you and your family. Compassionate, caring. Go ahead and play the next one service. too. That's the cornerstone of earning your trust. Let our longtime hometown staff help okay. you when you need us. We're Jeff Coat Tran Funeral Home and Crematory. Our family serving you. to have more money in your pocket? Refinance at Four Seasons Federal Credit Union. We just helped a member save over $600 a month and we would like to help you. Visit apply.fourseasonsfcu.com or stop by a local branch. Federally insured by NCUA, equal opportunity lender, subject to membership and credit approval. Some exclusions apply. Your iHeart Country Station, 97.7 Kicker FM. Fourth and goal play from the seven-yard line. It will be Jaden Doolittle trying to work it to the outside, and Doolittle has popped shy of the three-yard line. He's going to go down at the four-yard line, and that will be the end of the third quarter of play. Turnover on downs. It'll be Park Crossing's football when we start this fourth quarter. Dogs on top, 35 to nothing. Just a six-minute fourth quarter coming up, and we're back in a minute. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on The Kicker. Having trouble finding furniture amidst COVID-19? Gorey's Furniture has you covered. We're packed wall-to-wall -wall with trucks bringing furniture every day. Come see us at Gorey's Furniture, 3797 Highway 169 in Opelika. If you see something you like, take it with you or have us deliver only at Gorey's Furniture. Visit us online at Gorey'sFurniture.com. Gorey's Furniture Express, your express way to save this just in, Auburn Bank has completed their 114th year of serving their community. This next one goes out to Auburn Bank, champions of you. Touchdown, Auburn Bank, the 
champions of you are 114 and 0. Welcome to Auburn Bank. How can we help? I hear y'all are undefeated. Helping you achieve your financial goals is our goal. Visit championsofyou.com to see how we can serve you. Auburn Bank, champions of you. Member FDIC. Park Crossing starts first and 10. From their backs on their own end zone, they hand it off to the right side, and the tailback swallowed up nearly a safety. They'll mark the forward progress at the two for just a loss of two, so it'll set up second down and 12. And just a, just a six-minute fourth quarter coming here as Opelika leads this one 35 to nothing as we have shortened things up here in this second half against this short staff park crossing squad. Terry Ware out of the shotgun. He's got two receivers either side, and there's going to be a procedure penalty called here against Park Crossing. 5-10 remaining here in the ball game. 35-0 is our score. And you may say, boy, 35-0, what's with the running clock? Well, Coach, Park Crossing doesn't have a whole lot of answers right now with their quarterback injured, and they're just outmatched in this game. And I think, think Coach L.C. Cole is, uh, is happy with just getting out of here. Yes, sir. I've never seen a team that had no yards passing in the first half. Zero. Two wideouts either side. And we're out of the shotgun. He'll hand it off. In trouble that's in the safe. end zone is the tailback, and that's Beebe. He goes down, and that's going to be a safety. Safety for the Bulldogs. I think Opelika has scored just about in every aspect except for an interception for a touchdown because Park Crossing's only thrown it one time, and it was incomplete. But there's a safety, and the Dogs go up 37 to nothing now over Park Crossing. 414 left here in the ball game. Another score for this Bulldog defense. We'll Take a quick one-minute break. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on The Kicker. Hi, I'm Tommy Cummings with South State Bank. Whether personal, commercial, or mortgage, our team has the experience to assist you with all of your banking needs. We're located on Enterprise Drive in Tigertown, 2nd Avenue in downtown Opelika, and on East University Drive in Auburn. Stop by one of our convenient locations and give us the opportunity to earn your business. South State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Opelika Bulldog football fans, Pastor Jeff of First Baptist Church of Opelika. While you're listening to the game this Friday night on the radio, I'm in the stands watching number 25 and all his friends giving everything they've got for Opelika High School. But I would encourage you this Sunday, I want to see you in the stands at First Baptist Church of Opelika. We have three worship hours, 8.30, 9.45, and 11 o'clock. We would love to see you this Sunday, First Baptist Church of Opelika. Until then, go dogs. We're back here to Crampton Bowl. There's the kick after the safety and uh, will be hauled in by the Bulldogs. Calvin Hughley, the freshman, gets it. And Hughley still on his feet, breaking tackles. Hughley trying to push the pile across the 40. And I think they'll mark hey, him down job. to the 40-yard line. Calvin Hughley's been banged up with a knee injury. Good to see him there back in on special teams. And with a pretty good return, he'll set the dogs up at the 40. And this clock winding down, folks. 2.28 left here in the ball game already. As Opelika leads it now 37 to nothing with that two point safety added on. And uh, this may be it for this ball game. Just a couple of handoffs here for the dogs. And I, I, you're right. We're man. heading back to Lafayette Parkway. This is going to be the shortest game in Opelika I, history. I'm telling you, I, I, we have to pull the record books out. This may be. <laughs> J.T. McCardle out of shotgun, two wideouts either side, a straight handoff. I believe that was Rakavian, Rakavian Howell who got the handoff there. And he was under a huge pile. No, that was actually Calvin Hughley who just had that good return. And Hughley loses a yard, second down and 11. Of course, Park Crossing right now. Pin in their ears back, knowing the dogs are going full out run. Hughley again on the carry. Hughley with forward progress to the 42. So a pickup of around three yards. 122 left in our ball game. You heard us right. 37 nothing our score. And two more snaps. This man. one just about in the books here. 
And like Coach mentioned, I think we may have a third and a fourth down play, and that's going to be it. J.T. McCardle out of the shotgun. This will be third and eight, and a handoff straight up the middle, and oh, a good job leave. there. Park crossing, bottling that one up. And we're down to 55 seconds left. Here's this second half with six-minute quarters with a running clock. Does not take long to wind this game up with that scenario. Coach Speakman and company trying to make sure everybody gets in the ball game. You may have wondered, boy, why are we taking so many commercial breaks? But <laughs> when you've got a shortened ball game, we've got to roll through the commercials too. 29 seconds left. No, we Clock took starts back running. This will be the last play of the game here. McCardle gets the snap and a straight handoff, and that will do it. 37 nothing's going to be your final score here from Crampton Bowl. Coach Elsie Cole content to uh, get out of here with any more damage on the scoreboard as Opelika really dominated from the get-go here in this one in Thursday night football at Crampton Bowl. 37-0 again, our final score. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back here and visit with head coach Eric Speakman after this. You're listening to Bulldog football. Again, dogs a winner in what we may, what we think may be the shortest ball game in Opelika history. We'll have to pull out the record books. 37-0, though, dogs a winner. Back in two minutes here on the kicker. Hi, this is Brent Poteet with Opelika Power Services. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other storms can seriously damage power lines and other electrical equipment. Stay away from downed power lines. Always assume a downed power line is live and life-threatening. Do not attempt to remove tree limbs or any other object from a downed line. Warn others to stay away. If you see a downed line, call Opelika Power Services at 334-705-5170. Thank you. This is Carlton Hundley with Lambert Transfer and Storage, your local moving and storage company. Coach, how you doing? Doing fine, Carl. I got great news for you. Good. Van Mack and I are taking you all to Western Sizzling, James Cooper's place for steaks. The only problem is we got to use the company credit card. The company credit card? Yeah, and you hadn't paid me in two weeks. You haven't worked in four weeks. And where is Mack? He's at the beach. Oh, my goodness. Go, Go dogs. dogs. Hello, this is Coley Tran of Jeff Coat Tran Funeral Home and Crematory. My dad Bill and I are pleased to be part of the Auburn, Opelika, Lee County area. We shop here, worship here, and cheer on the home teams. It's a true honor to serve you and your family. Compassionate, caring, and professional service. That's the cornerstone of earning your trust. Let our longtime hometown staff help you when you need us. We're Jeff Coat Tran Funeral Home and Crematory. Our family serving you. Bending, stretching, walking. The simple moves in life are a real challenge with joint pain. When that happens, the Orthopedic Clinic is here to help. The Orthopedic Clinic offers a comprehensive range of restoring services, from total and partial joint replacement to bone health programs, physical therapy, and sports medicine. With offices conveniently located in Auburn and Opelika, the Orthopedic Clinic is close to home and here to help you stay in motion. Visit theorthoclinic.com to schedule your appointment today. Well, this one is in the books here from Crampton Bowl. 37-0 again, Opelika with the win tonight over the Park Crossing Thunderbirds. And, Coach, this is never one of those fun games where you see a uh, team that's so overmatched, but it was certainly good to see the dogs come out, take care of business, play a clean game all around, and just get out of here with a W and, and get back home and get ready for the playoffs. Yeah, I, I think the, the quick start in the first half is what we need to take home with us tonight. Uh, Roman Gagliano, 6 of 6 for 111 yards. And then in the second half, uh, our other boy, one of one for 10 yards. Uh, and so we ended up with 121 yards uh, uh, throwing the football, seven of seven. And uh, we didn't we, – we had 24 carries for 38 yards, but uh, a lot of that was in the second half. And uh, – so I consider it a great – we only had one turnover tonight, Van, and that was a Stinson dropping that uh, punt return. But uh, I think it's a, it's a perfect way 
to get ready for the playoffs and to end the season. Man. All right, well, Coach is down there with uh, Mac right now. We'll head down on the field. Mac, take it away. Thanks, guys. Coach Beekman, undefeated in the region. Um, this And what might be one of the – um, shortest games in Opelika's history. We were talking about that. We're going to look at the record books to make sure. Um, there are a lot of good plays in the first half. Of course, the second half flew by us. But uh, one in particular hit close to home to you. A young and named Speakman picked up the fumble and, and got him a scoop six. Yeah, that was fun to watch Bryce. Uh, you know, he tried to play quarterback this year and didn't win the job. And, you know, as a head coach, I was really proud of him because he came in and just said, I want to go help the team somehow. And he uh, moved over to safety and had a, you know, had a big interception against Lee and then tonight had a scoop and score. So I know his uh, little brother's up there in the stands and Hollins, his uh, younger sister was up there. So they were fired up about it. And, and I was too. You know, they're all kind of like your kids but that one especially made me happy. All right, Coach, walk through, uh, walk through the, with the Dog Nation a little bit about, okay, the upcoming weeks. All right, we go to Friday tomorrow, and then we go, we're off next week, and then it's showtime. First round of the playoffs, so give us kind of a glance of what we're uh, going to look forward to. Yeah, well, you know, we've had a tough 10-week stretch here, and uh, so what we'll do tomorrow is the kids will be off, so they'll come over to us fourth block like they always do, and we're just going to let them relax, hang out, be teenagers. And then next Monday we'll review this film – really just the first half because I don't know if they had time to film the second half as quick as that went. And uh, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll, we'll get back after it. It'll be like a preseason uh, practice where we'll work on Opelika and get better at some certain things that have been hurting us all year. And then we'll turn our attention to either McAdory or Northridge the following week. We won't work on them until uh, the week of the game. We're not going to look ahead that far. We're going to work on Opelika for one week, and then it'll, it'll start back to 0-0. Zero, zero. And, and I just told this group I really like where they are. Uh, senior class just went 19 and 0 in region play, and I challenged them to be the first group to go 5 and 0 in in um, in the playoffs. We've had two groups go 4 and 1, and uh, I've challenged this senior class to be the first group to go 5 and 0. Awesome! All right, up to Vanna Pops. All right, Coach, you could have uh, – you, your team could have come out here and played sloppy tonight, but they decided to score in just about every aspect. So, I mean, you really – I don't think there was one negative thing. I think the only negative play may be the punt uh, that got muffed there. But other than that, it was just a clean game all around. Just kind of talk about how your team came out ready to play against a team that they probably knew coming in they were much better than. Yeah, it probably helped the fact that, that I challenged them this week about being 19-0 in the region. And, you know, that really gave them a, a realistic goal to, to play for – versus playing a team that was really down with a bunch of injuries. They even had some more this week that didn't play. Coach Cole, you know, uh, he's trying his best over here, but it's just been been swimming upstream for him. But uh, even tonight they had guys that, that did not play that played last week. So uh, it's one of those games you're right. You know, you can come out and, and play sloppy and, and not be focused. But I think the fact that these kids knew that they could become the, the winningest senior class in a region, you know, as far as region play goes, they uh, we had a group that went 18-0 and and uh, this group got to play one extra game, so it was big for them. All right, Lee Corsa, I mean, uh, Coach Spence McCracken, go ahead. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Speakman, congratulations, man. I know Miss Drew is going to be very, very happy with her boy tonight and, and with her husband, so congratulations on that scoop and score. But I, I want you to talk real quick about the first quarter and the play of Roman uh, Gagliano, six of six, uh, for 111 yards, uh, it don't get no better than that. I mean, 20, you know, 20 yards, 23 yards, 47 yards. Talk about his performance. Yeah, you know, the last couple of weeks we've said it, he gets better every week. And uh, I tell you, his biggest advantage is he's about 6'4", so he can see so, <clears throat> so many things that a lot of quarterbacks in high school can't see. And uh, these receivers are catching the ball. Uh, he's been working really hard with those guys, Javante, Sean. We moved Caden out there tonight. I think Caden had the first touchdown catch. Uh, getting Jamori back allows us to move Caden out to wide receiver, which is probably his best position. Uh, you know, he's a great running back for us, but probably our best offense is with Jamori at tailback and Caden out there. So, you know, Roman did a good job. The O-line blocked well. and. 
we got out to such a fast start, and uh, that's, I think, why they decided to run the clock there in the second. You hate to do that. You, we would never do that early in the year because you want kids to play, but this late in the year, we just said, let's just get out of here. Let's get back to God's country tonight with a big win and, and hopefully go pull the bra Braves through here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, they're trailing right now, no, Coach. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, I, know, well, I know you've been checking it on the sidelines. Well, so. we did have some coaches sneak a peek <laughs> down there at, at halftime. So. Eric, congratulations, man. And, and uh, the playoffs in front, you know, uh, and, you know, I talked to you about this this morning. You know, I couldn't do it. Brian couldn't do it. You hadn't done it yet. But I, I really look forward and pray that our dogs will get to that state championship game and win it this year. Yeah, it'd be good. I think this group's got a good chance like we've had some other times in the past. And, you know, we'll just see if we can come together as one big group and, and you know, play for Opelika. And that's what we've been preaching all year to this, these kids is, you know, play as a great teammate. And our book studies a book called Hard Hat about a guy that played lacrosse and was probably the best teammate ever. So we've been really studying that with those guys about how to be, you know, selfless and, and give everything you can for right. your teammates. And these guys are really bought in. I think you've seen that over the last five or six weeks of right. some guys really playing for each other. And uh, it's going to be fun. Well, get everybody well and God bless you. Yep, Great Y'all be safe going home. Go dogs. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate the visit. Uh, again, our final score here from uh, Crampton Bowl, 37 to nothing. Bulldogs over Park Crossing. We'll take a uh, final break here and come back and wrap it up after this timeout. You're listening to Bulldog Football here on The Kicker.